<laughs> what's, up? what's up, Olivier? How you doing? Uh, I'm good, thank you. That must ooh. have felt good, did it? Say again? That must have felt good, that result. I, I can't hear. Um, the result, uh, well, uh, we, we needed uh, that win uh, because um, we, uh, we couldn't uh, um, basically um, show our quality. The proper Milan uh, uh, before we, uh, I think we dominated uh, the first game, Newcastle. We created a lot of chances, we didn't score. Second game, I think we could have won uh, uh, in Dortmund. And then uh, in PSG, we, we started well the game there. Uh, first half strong, but they, they score in counter-attack and after we, we know the rest. But I think, uh, yeah, we, uh, we just wanted to, to bounce back to show our, our quality, our generosity tonight. Uh, we've been more efficient. Uh, we've been uh, efficient in both boxes tonight. And uh, that's uh, what made the, made the difference uh, at the, um, in Champions League. Olivia, talk us about through the header, the goal, the winning goal. Well, uh, that's one of my favourite ones. Uh, yes. I received a nice cross. <laughs> I, receive a, I received a nice cross from Theo. I know he's going to hit the ball very hard, second post. And uh, I, just, uh, I just stay behind Skriniar and, uh, well, I hit it. Uh, I tried to just put it on target, you know. Uh, I thought it's going to be a, a bit higher, but at the end, I'm very pleased and relieved that the, the ball was back over the net. Was Thierry Henry impressed? <laughs> he was there with David Beckham. They were watching. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoy. Uh, uh, yeah, it was a, a nice header, and uh, yeah, it's always a, a great feeling to, to score, you know, uh, in San Siro uh, with uh, all our fans. You know, uh, we um, we we had a great support, amazing support uh, from the beginning till the end, and uh, we wanted to to give them back. You know, the, this love uh, they they give us uh, every single day, even uh, in a tough moment. You know, uh, so. We are back, back on track in this group, and uh, and now we can hope uh, to finish well. Uh, we're, we've got two games to to win, uh, so everything is is open now. But yeah, it's a it's a, it's a relievement. Hey, just wondering, does it annoy you how Jamie Carragher pronounces your name, well, Olivia, Olivia Giroud? <laughs> does it bother you? Well, uh, no, Olivia Giroud. Uh, they they've been calling me uh, nine years uh, in, uh, in Premier League like that. Uh, and uh, you I, wanna, I, do you want to teach him saying, how to say it properly, though? To yeah, call me your name. Say, Let's pronounce it. I need education. Well, in French, is Olivier Giroud. Oh! <laughs> hey, hey, Kate, what? Kate, you say, you say it. Tell me how to say it, Kate. Olivier Giroud. Oh! oh. It just rolls off the nice. tongue. Nice. Olivier Giroud. <laughs> Mike, oh. talk about A the bit great. Too much on the R, uh, by the way. Oh! oh. C'est pas grave, quand même. Hey. No need to do. C'était pas si mal comme ça. C'est bien. Oh, très bien, très bien. Bah, merci, c'est gentil. Not great, but it's all right. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Cool. You're having a go, are you? No. Uh, have I got to say it? <laughs> yes. Wait, Olivia. No. Al <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Olivia Giroud. No, no, G no, not with the L. Not Gilou. Giroud. <laughs> oh, Olivia Giroud. <laughs> no. No! No, no W. No W, not Giroud. Giroud! <laughs> you, need, you need to Good come, uh, you need to oh, come man, in, uh, so in, in France uh, in the holidays. I will, I will teach you how to pronounce uh, properly uh, the French uh, names. Okay, well, I'll, I'll see you on the French Riviera in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> did you do Did you do a high school oh, diploma? No. Did you do GCSE in French? I didn't do GCSE in, in anything. You what? GCSE? <laughs> <laughs> What's GCSE? <laughs> it, my scouse is gone now. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Uh, we're going to go to oh, a break. Uh, Olivia Giroud? Well, you call him Olivia, which is a woman's name. His name's Olivia. Olivier. Oh, oh, yeah, Olivier. Olivier. Yeah, yeah. And then you I put the D on the end. There's no D on the end. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah.
All right, never mind. Okay. I'm going to be there that night, and as I said, that place is bouncing. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. And you bounced yourself into a new contract that night, didn't you? Uh, I don't think I was already in contract negotiations Yeah, and I think that time. just got you over the helped. line, didn't Why it? Why would that help me? Well, you're talking about that. You're actually talking to somebody else there in your mind. <laughs> we get a little bit nervous. Mm. Maybe we should do that, eh? Hey, uh, well, that's it, you know... <laughs> Why, how do we end up talking about contracts every single show? Happens every single time. What's up, everybody? A uh, very good evening to you from London. Thank you for joining us tonight for the post-match show in the Champions League. Kate Abdo, Clint Dempsey, Jamie Carragher, Micah Richards. Uh, OK, so in the highlight game of the evening, the biggest game of the night, AC Milan got the job done at home in Milan against PSG. 2-1 was the final score. We're going to take you straight out to, pa uh, to Milan, sorry, where Guillaume and Jesse uh, got to watch that game pitch side. W what were your guys' thoughts? I'm interested how you saw that second half particularly because we spoke to you after the first. You're right. You said it before, it's bouncing. The stadium is bouncing. It's bouncing. It's actually very exciting. You can hear the noise through the uh, windows. And it was a very, very exciting game for many, many reasons. Uh, AC Milan had to go through so many obstacles. A bad defended goal. The fact that they come from a very bad form period and having to face a PSG that destroyed them just about two weeks ago. How did they manage to turn it around? Well, going into the locker room at halftime, they knew they had to come out with a strong performance. It wasn't the prettiest. You know, it was gritty. They were grinding. They were fighting for loose balls. Maybe a couple injuries in the match, but it was what they needed at this point in the season. And certainly now where they are in the group stage, they give themselves a real chance. And as well as a collective very good performance defensively, especially in the second half, you needed, and you asked for that, the top players to perform what did you see of Loftus-Cheek or Rafael Leao, Giroud? Well, I think Loftus, having Loftus-Cheek back in the lineup is, is a big factor for them. He's physical, he's strong, he can also have some solutions when he gets on the dribble with the ball. Um, he helped create some of the transition moments. But we said that the attackers needed to play better, right? And you get a goal out of Leao, you get a goal out of Giroud, what a header that is. Really just will, just fighting him, fighting his way to find a way to get ahead on it. So. You know, it was a gutty performance, and sometimes when you're in a low point in the season, those are the kinds of things you need to get yourselves back on track. We're waiting to see what uh, Pulisic has. He obviously retired with some kind of injury. It looks like a hamstring. It could be really bad news, but we have asked the press officer. Nothing is that determined yet. But in the case, this is the, uh, this is the injury. It, it looks bad, doesn't it? Yeah, anytime you see someone pull up quickly like that, you know that usually it's, it's not good. Um, you know, anytime you have a hamstring injury, you're always wondering, okay, is it grade one, is it grade two? That's the difference between it being two weeks versus four to six weeks. So hopefully it's something lighter so that he can recover, recover quickly and obviously get back on the match and, and then be available for the national team window. Finally, one word on PSG. This was not the PSG of Paris. And strangely enough, Mbappé seems very isolated. They, they couldn't find him. Yeah, it was a little bit strange that way. I would have thought that knowing that Cabrera was in the lineup, that they would have tried to get Mbappe the ball as much as possible and get him into the game. That being said, Dembele in the first half was very dangerous, very good, hit the post, was creating a lot of chances. So, you know, they have weapons, but for the most part, Milan, they bent, but they didn't break. Only a goal on a, on a set piece. So pretty, pretty good performance overall and something they desperately needed at this point in the season. They didn't break, Kate. That's what, he, what we saw today and left mm -hmm. the group very, very open. Yeah, they sure did. I, I know that you guys are going to go and get some interviews with players in just a second. But just before you do go, Jesse, just a, a question on Christian Pulisic and that kind of the issue as a whole of American players getting injured. Just before the game, we were talking about Gio Reyna and you said he has to stay fit. That's so key that he stays fit. Does it feel like a recurring problem to you with some of these the bigger name U.S. players? Yeah, it's a little strange. I mean, you'd have to highlight Gio and Christian specifically with their hamstring problems that they've had in their careers. The demands on European football are big. It's everything from the level of the matches, the speed of the matches, the frequency of the matches, the travel, everything that you're dealing with, going back and forth to the U.S. every transfer window. It's not easy for these guys, but for the most part, they take care of themselves. They do everything they can to keep themselves on the pitch. So unfortunate moment for Christian. Hopefully it's not too bad. Guillaume, I asked you about Beckham. Where is he? 
<laughs> I've, star I've, started, I've started the job, right? I'm actually going to travel. I wasn't going to London. I'm going to London to meet his PR people. He knows we want him. But you know, it goes, but you're a superstar. It goes in phases. You first have to talk to the other people before you actually get the yes from him. Are you, are you he, wore the shirt. he wore the shirt today to try to uh, draw David <laughs> close to that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what, what are you trying to say? You need big meeks to make communication. Is that what you're saying? At some point, I need you, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet. Are you about to write a book on David Beckham? No, actually, not on him. Uh, oh, well, it's another well. secret project, is it? Yeah, it, it will be disclosed very, very soon. All right, it's as big fun. as Beckham. Watch the face. <laughs> All right, thank you, Guillaume. Uh, uh, just a question on Christian Pulisic to you, because uh, the optimist in you said, hey, yeah. maybe it's cramp. But first of all, he did.